I'm Lynn Smith, and welcome to the Bigfoot Project. My name is Mike. I was hunting last year when I encountered this thing. First off, I'm from the Mississippi Gulf Coast, the Biloxi area. I was hunting the Leaf River Wildlife Management Area, about 40 miles north of the coast. December 14th, I was up in my tree stand, about 30 feet, on a power line, and I heard something off to my right, very close, coming from the woods. It sounded like it was very big. At the time, I was thinking two things, either another hunter coming in on top of me, or a very big buck or black bear, because we have a few protected black bear here. It was coming through the woods slowly, but it was super loud, and whatever it was at the time seemed to stop occasionally and seemed to be breathing deep and hard. When I heard this thing breathe, I knew it was no deer. It made it about 30 yards from the power lines and stopped again, and I could not see whatever it was because the woods were way too thick. I had my rifle set to see whatever it was when it finally came out of the bush onto the power lines. It stayed motionless in the bush for a very long time, at least 30 minutes. I started second-guessing myself. Then it finally came out of the bush, solid black and on all fours. At first I thought it was a bear. It was about 150 yards out and about four in the afternoon, and the sun was already behind the trees, but I had about an hour of daylight left. It was facing away from me. So I put it in the scope, and something about it was off. All of a sudden, this thing sat on its butt like a human, with its feet on the ground and arms to the side. I lost it. I knew nothing about these things. I stood up in my stand and started yelling at it. I was freaking and panicking. This thing jumped up, and the speed, the way this thing moved, was like something out of this world, like something out of a DC comic book. It started looking around and panning. It was huge, eight feet at least oblong, cone-shaped head, and I could see every muscle in its body. It was scanning the trees, doing a 360. It never knew I was there, I guess. This animal started screaming so loud that it was vibrating me, and it was almost like it was pissed off because it couldn't find the source of the noise it heard. It started talking to itself. It looked very confused, and it was walking around in circles, and it got within about 70 yards, and I put it back in the scope, and that's when it saw me, or my movement. Oh my God, I got a very good look at this thing to say the least. First off, it didn't have fur like say a bear or any other mammal. It was long hair like human hair, but very long. It was standing there looking at me motionless. Eyes were jet black, very little facial hair. Skin was a grayish dark brown under the hair. It looked like there was just shoulders and a head. If there was any neck at all, it was very short. Very long arms past its knees, and I scoped this thing in. It had dirt in its fingernails. I was shaking so bad. It looked so human in the face. The thing kept smiling at me or showing its teeth. It had perfectly bright, white square teeth like us or a big horse. I mean, this thing was something out of the realm of reality, but the facial features this creature was making at me was so humanish. It was almost a sense of fear, but almost calmness for a moment or two. I really think these things are a people. So this thing had me locked onto it. There was no way I was getting out of my tree, for I was scared of my life. So it started talking again, but louder. It had a language that sounded like gibberish, grunts, and whistles. It stuck its tongue out, and it was big and pink and huge. Then it looked dead at me again. Finally, I broke out of my fear, because this thing knew where I was at, and was looking at me, and wasn't going anywhere. I looked dead at this creature and waved my hands in the air and said, What do you want? When I did that, all hell broke loose. This thing's eyes got real big and almost like he blew at me. Like a big sound energy hit me right in the chest. Like actually I felt it. And then it started yelling so loud. All its hair stood up and when it yelled, it looked like its face was caving in on itself and then would go back to normal. This thing ran on two legs for about 50 yards, then dropped back down to four legs, and then ran back into the bush behind me, and started pushing trees down. Full-grown pine trees. I was in a panic mode and got down and ran to the power lines. I thought, well, if I'm going to die, at least I'll have a fighting chance if I can see it in the clearing. So I started heading south back down the power lines. I left a $400 Summit Titan Jackup stand on that tree. I cared nothing about it. This thing was behind me, moaning and screaming and tearing the woods up. 
I'm only five foot nine, 170 pounds, with a seven millimeter magnum across my shoulder and about 500 yards from my truck. This thing was still pushing trees and tearing woods up, and all of a sudden I hear something on the side of me about 30 yards in the woods, walking, not to me, but with me. I hear him sound off behind me, yelling, sounding off very loud, but there was something on the side of me walking also, mimicking every step I made, getting closer and closer. I started walking faster, as fast as I could, but whatever was on the side of me was keeping up and moving in on me. Finally, out of fear, fatigue, and despair, I stopped and cranked a shot into the air, and when I did this, it got super quiet. I started jogging again, and I heard nothing. I got to where I could finally see the top of my truck. I got to my truck finally, and right when I put my key in the door, it sounded off again about a mile back, way off. A high-pitched yell with a guttural rolling sound at the end. I had another one paralleling me on the way out, but it never showed itself, almost like it was guiding me out. Before this happened, I never believed in Bigfoot, or at least they were out west and not in Mississippi. I struggle with the PTSD from it, and nightmares. I need a platform to get my experience out there, to get this off my chest. Maybe it will help me mentally. I told my dad about it, and that's it. I don't think he believes it. Although he listens, and I have told no one else out of fear of ridicule. My name is Michael. I'm a retired 67-year-old man. One night I got to my favorite camping spot. It was accessible with my old truck and was far enough off the road to be unnoticeable by passerbyers. I would park in the middle of this circular clearing in the foothills. The area is heavily wooded with very thick brush surrounding on all sides. I would lay out in the bed of my truck, no camper shell. I had a mattress and a cozy bed in the bed of the truck with a great night sky overhead. The warm summer nights were beautiful for this. This night I was laying in the bed and ready to crash out under the stars when I heard sounds coming from an adjacent ridge less than a mile away. Voices, possibly several at once. They were yelling and shouting noises coming through the night, and I initially thought it was people partying under the moon just having a boisterous evening. Then things changed really quickly. I heard such bizarre screams from that direction, nothing like anything I'd ever heard. I sat up in bed with these unreal sounds that I had no comparison to, getting closer to my truck by the second, literally. Brush and trees were snapping and crunching, obviously under the weight of something real big and moving ridiculously fast. It was coming right at me, directly through an area of impossible thick undergrowth and mature forest, not on any trail or road, just crashing through the bush and trees like a bulldozer. And then it was right at my truck, and I'm hearing this ungodly screaming. It was so loud I felt its voice in my body. It was chattering too, in some guttural voice between screams and yells. I could smell it in the air I was breathing while cowering under my sleeping bag. Awful smell, skunk-like old urine, dead animal, rotting smell, acrid and nauseating. I remember being so terrified I got under my sleeping bag and curled into a fetal ball, fearing this thing would hear my pounding heart and rip me to pieces. At one point, I'm sure it vaulted right over me as I lay in the back of my truck, trying to be still and silent under that sleeping bag. It jumped right over the top of me in the bed of that Chevy pickup. I heard the air move and the ground shake momentarily when it came down. I was freaking out by this time and just came up out of the shelter of the bed and looked in the direction of what I was hearing. I was ready to run or fight or just get eaten. I was unarmed and 100% vulnerable and was too frightened to give a rat's ass. It was leaving. I saw a dark shadow, only as the thing was running straight out of the clearing into the tree line and barrel ass into the brush, making its own pathway out of the clearing by way of sheer velocity and size. There was a lot of moonlight, so the glimpse I did get was adequate for me to know that I was seeing something. It was big and dark, and gone as quickly as it arrived. Thanks for joining me on the Bigfoot Project. If you enjoyed today's video, here's one you don't want to miss. Also, if you have a story you'd like to share on this channel, email me, lynnsmith, at thebigfootproject at mail.com. I hope to hear from you soon.